So here is the X-Racer F303 V2. And if we look closely, we can see some of the improvements. For one thing, there is now the RGB LED output, which the other one, the V1, didn't have. So if you want to run a programmable LED strip, now you can. And if you look on the other side, we've got the connectors for VBAT and an RSSI input as well. So very nice. Uh, I'm liking this board more and more. Liking it more and more. I've been flying with this board for a while, and uh, it won't surprise you to hear that I, there are no complaints. Uh, pretty much all of the F3 and even the F1 boards fly very, very well right now. And so I don't think that flight performance for me is the primary driving factor that would make me pick one over the other. I like this board because of its logistics. I like the price is good and, and sort of the, the, the logistics of working with it in terms of how the pin headers are laid out and the options they give you. I like all of that. And now that it's got the VBAT pin built in instead of having to rig that up yourself, I like it even more. Um, so honestly, there's not a lot more to say about this board that I haven't already said uh, in this V2 review. It's, it's a, it's, I still recommend it. I still prefer it. Um, it. It is an I2C board, and it will not do 8 kilohertz gyro sync. I personally don't think most of us would notice the difference between 4 kilohertz and 8 kilohertz. Frankly, most of us, 1 kilohertz gyro sync is already flying better than any, you know, any of us could tune. So um, the other thing that does stand out about this board is that it uses the onboard CP210 chip, which means that one UART is tied to the USB port, which means you only have two UARTs to work with unless you want to lose that function when you're, when you're armed. Okay, so for example, you can put black box on UART 1, but as soon as you arm, you'll lose connection to the configurator, which is a little bit annoying. The CP210 chip's advantage is that BL Heli pass through works on it seamlessly, but there has just been a pull request to allow the use of BL Heli pass through through the virtual COM port used on chips like, uh, used on boards like the Lux or the, uh, the Cyclone. And so that could take away some of the advantage of the CP210 adapter on board. It could take away some, well, or put it the other way, the disadvantage that I perceive for boards that have the virtual COM port. Uh, I know that some people who have the virtual COM port have trouble with drivers and have trouble getting the board to reconnect after you save your settings. And so that some people may still prefer a board like this that has the onboard CP210 adapter. Anyway, there you go. That's my impressions of this board. V2 is out, and uh, you know, I liked V1, but I had some complaints about it, and all those complaints have been addressed in V2, and so uh, I'm going to have to think really hard to find something else to complain about, because, uh, you know, uh, if I don't have something to complain about, what am I going to do? <laughs> Thanks for listening, and happy flying.